Great morning out here this morning. Left Island Creek about an hour and a half ago. It's just beautiful out here. Well, there are a few rain clouds in the distance, but there's a bit of sun, especially over that way. Beautiful coastline, look at that. And we're chugging along at about six to seven knots with the help of two or three knots of uh, incoming tide with us. But summer line's loving it. There's hardly any swell. I think, I think because it's protected by the outer reefs of the Great Barrier Reef. But it's just, yeah, loving it. Autopilot's on, much better day to yesterday. And yeah, heading to Hunter Island, uh, which is about, oh, I should be getting there at about 2.30, 3 o'clock this afternoon. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's been a beautiful day out in the water today. Probably my best day of sailing yet since I left Mooloolaba about three weeks ago, three and a half weeks ago. I've sailed 33 nautical miles today uh, in eight hours and I've got about six nautical miles to go around that, around that headland and around the corner a bit is my anchorage and it'll take about uh, another two hours to get there. I'm only doing about three knots with both sails fully up as well as the engine on. Uh, they, yeah, they've got four meter tides around here. So the tides just absolutely gush in and out. So it's a bit of a struggle to be honest, but um, making ground slowly. And it's been like this, sunny and overcast sort of all day. It's been great. Uh, the autopilot's been doing its job perfectly. And uh, yeah, I've just been chilling out and doing a few little jobs on the boat that I've had to do. It's nice when things work like they're meant to. trying to get out of Hunter Island uh, through some of the sandbanks and the tide here is absolutely ripping through. There's about five knots of breeze, I've got all my sails up and the engine and still doing about two knots and the water's just so turbulent. I'm hoping it'll settle down once I get out into the deeper water. After seven hours of motoring with glassy conditions out here, finally just been able to turn the engine off uh, with only about an hour and a half to go until we're around in uh, on Curlew Island in one of the bays here. The tidal 
presence is not so bad up here. We've got come out of um, the strong tides, but there's still about uh, about one knot coming in from the side, so pushing us sideways. But there's enough wind. The sails are just filling with air, uh, which is very welcome because we were just chewing through fuel before. Um, and I love being able to turn the engine off and just use the sails. Sort of what I'm out here to be doing, not just motoring everywhere. So hopefully this wind stays around and picks up a little bit. That would be great. Um, so I don't have to turn the engine back on. Curlew Island. Just pulled into Curlew Island. Uh, about 33 nautical miles from Hunter Island. It took eight hours and 50 minutes to get here, which is about two hours longer than I expected. Two and a half hours longer than I expected. I'm just seeing a turtle over here. Um, yeah. Averaged about 3.7 knots just because it was just glassed off all day. No wind until the last hour. It was about five knots. But I still had to motor because the current was um, pushing me sideways into the uh, into the island. So I'm very, very happy to be here. It is a little bit rolly still, as you can see. It's not too bad, but once the tide changes and I'm sideways to these waves it's gonna get pretty rolly in the night I believe I'll see how I go uh, early start tomorrow probably head off at about 5 a.m. and got what I hope to be about ten and a half hour sail so see how we go it's Curlew Island got some chunky Irish stew soup going for dinner Look at that view. How good is that? Almost up at Mackay Marina, just going through the shipping anchorages now. Uh, it's been about 10 to 15 knots of wind all day, gusting over probably 16. I uh, left Curlew Island at 5.30 this morning. It is currently just after one o'clock and I'm about two hours out from Mackay Marina. Uh, the autopilot has carved it, so once again, I've been hand steering for 95% of today uh, and I'll be hand steering for the rest of the trip. But luckily, there's just smaller sort of half day hops, not, you know, 10, not 10, 12 hour days. So, fingers crossed, it's uh, smooth sailing from here on. heading out of Mackay Marina. Spent a few nights there restocking and sitting out some strong winds. 
and now I'm heading over to Brampton Island, which is the bottom of the Whitsundays. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting there and spending a few days there exploring the island and um, I've got about two weeks up my sleeve um, to go up to Ellie Beach. Uh, Ellie Beach is only really from here, it could be a day sail, like a, a big day, 12 hours. But um, So I've got plenty of time to explore the island on the way up and ra relax. Just left Carlisle Island, which is right next to Brampton, um, where the Brampton has the old abandoned resort, and Carlisle's right next to it. I uh, just anchored there overnight last night because next to the resort where the main anchorage is, uh, it was just too rough when I got there. They were too wind affected. Um, but I had a great night. It was a little bit rolly, but still uh, slept well. And, and it's about 7.30 this morning, and just heading for a few hours sail up to Goldsmith Island. Uh, there's a passage between two islands to get around the top of, between Goldsmith and I forget the name of the other one, but, um, and you have to get the tide right, otherwise it's like a three to four knot current through there. So I've just headed off um, well, about half an hour ago to make this tide and hopefully zoom through these two islands and then I should be at the anchorage by 10, 11 a.m today and then hopefully spend the rest of the afternoon I'll blow up the dinghy and hopefully go ashore there and explore a bit. currently doing between two and a half and four and a half knots. It's quite lovely out here at the moment. Uh, the sea state's quite calm and there's about oh, 10 knots from directly behind me. I've just got the head sail out as you can see. Uh, no main sail because I need the autopilot or someone steering so that I can go up to the mast and um, put the mainsail up and down and autopilot's broken so um, yeah hand steering for the rest of the trip and head sail only for the rest of the trip. This is just awesome. We've got Lynn Island right here and then just coming up on Goldsmith Island here about to go right through the middle of them both. Uh, we've got the tide with us. There's not much tide differences at the moment though, so we may be getting a knot out of it. But we're just cruising through here. It's lovely.
Probably a glorious day on the water, about five knots out of the southeast. Uh, my trip started this morning about 7 uh, 8 a.m. from Goldsmith Island, just heading up to Shore Island now. It's only about 13 nautical miles, so about three hours usually, but with the lack of wind and with only a head sail that I can use, uh, it should, uh, it'll probably take about four hours, I'd say. I'm only doing about two and a half knots at the moment, which is uh, quite slow. But I'm in no rush and it's very nice out here, so I'm just pottering along. just come ashore on Shore Island for a bit of a run along the beaches here. Just brought the dinghy in. Summer winds out there in the sun, fair way off the shore. It's pretty nice in here, in this um, bay of Shore Island. You, uh, it's no swell and there's a bit of wind chop, but that's meant to settle down uh, in the evening anyway. So should be a good night here and I'm um, looking forward to getting the legs moving.